Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is Bo, Kilo Hotel 7, Foxtrot Charlie. And uh, today we're gonna be at Mutton Hunk Finn Natural Area Preserve. You can see the sign right there. This sign is actually about three tenths, maybe half a mile from the parking lot uh, that I usually venture to. It's about three miles from my house. So it's 61 degrees today. It's a little warmer than it has been in the, in the recent past. So let's go check this park out. All right, guys. Well, we drove down the road. Uh, here's the parking lot here. You can see my truck uh, right over there. A little hard to point the finger, but it is what it is. Anyways, uh, it's a tidbit windy today, but, um, you know, we're going to take a walk anyways. It's not very cold. Uh, one thing that I need to mention is, is I would say that this parking lot here could probably hold about five, six, maybe even eight cars tightly packed. Um, I personally have never seen more than four cars here, uh, and I've been coming here for a few months now or a couple of months now. Um, but, uh, yeah, also, uh, about halfway down the road, whenever you get to, there's a gate, um, and it goes from blacktop to, uh, rocks, I guess, if you will. Sometimes that gate is closed. They'll have, usually they'll have a sign up that tell you, uh, why the gate is closed. There may be hunting going on or something of that sort in the area, but, uh, here in this area, uh, we're gonna flip the camera around and show you a little bit of what's going on here. All right, so again, here's the parking lot. There's a trail right there. Uh, this trail I've walked before. I've actually walked all of these trails before. And this particular trail here kind of dead ends down at the end. You have to come back. Uh, it has a mile marker on it. Let's walk over here and look at it. Of 0.3 miles. Um, and then, you have this house thing here, a uh, barn. I'm not 100% sure what it used to be or what it used to do. Uh, it used to have power run to it, but the power has been severed. Um, there is a house right over there that is not on park property. Uh, there is a trail right there, and then there is a trail right here. These two trailheads uh, actually meet up to each other or, or come back around. So we're gonna walk down this trail first today, and then we'll end up coming back on that trail over there so uh, if you walk over here these trails do have names and we'll walk over and talk about that you have a Garthaga or Garthagi Gartha, Garthagay I don't know man how you say it there's a bay trail <laughs> and it's half a mile to the bay or you can white, walk the white White's Creek Loop, which is a mile around so that actually if you walk uh, about halfway down this trail here it cuts to the left and you can come back over to that other trailhead but we're gonna go for a walk now As you can see right here we got the sign again go straight go to the bay or take a left here and do the White's Creek loop uh, we'll do that loop on the way back I want to walk down here to the bay and show you a couple of things um, but you know it's pretty nice uh, there's some little trees around there's some big trees around uh, the trail is pretty wide uh, I guess you could probably walk a few people on this trail um, last time I was here I could have swore I saw some deer stands but I'm not seeing the deer stands today so maybe they took them down maybe they're done with the uh, with the deer hunting part of the of the season i don't know here's a little bit of an open area here um Um, here's a, a bit larger area here. Uh, just talk to those people for a second to find out if it is uh, flooded down here. Last time I was here, mm, last week I think it was, the uh, trail was a little flooded. You couldn't actually get all the way down to the bay. They said it's, it's looking good and it's a good day to get out. So uh, good to go on that, or at least I hope so. Not saying that people would lie, but their version of good to go and my version of good to go might be two different things. But I am looking, it doesn't look flooded out uh, as it is at the moment. 
Um, back in that big round area though, I, I think you could set some tables up or something like that if you want to lug out a table, uh, you know, and uh, be able to do stuff. But here's the little flooded area, or here's this area right here it was flooded last week. Um, but yeah, it's not looking too bad today, so their version and my version are pretty much the same. But the cool thing, whoops, the cool thing, I tripped on a branch there. The cool thing I wanted to show you is the bay. Check this out. We got some geese going on and stuff of that sort. You can walk all the way out to the water almost um, and do some, some portable work out here. The other cool thing is, is you may not be able to see it. Uh, and I'll try to see if I can zoom in and show it to you a little better, but uh, this out here, right over there, can't really see it. Actually, right there, uh, let me see if I can zoom into that. Yeah, there's a three time zoom. Uh, that right there, that is launch pad zero alpha. That is where uh, NASA at the Wallops Flight Facility sends um, sends out resupply to the International Space Station. And uh, looks like we got a special visitor today. We got a Hilo flying by. Uh, there he is. Focus had to grab it. Uh, not quite sure what he's out here doing, but he is uh, flying by. Walked back to the uh, to the split off here. There's that pole from earlier. We're gonna take this right. Yeah, this park isn't too bad. Uh, you know, it's, it's not very big. Uh, if I remember correctly, it's only like 70 acres or something like that. I'll, uh, I'll look that up and, uh, and post it. Um, but yeah, it's not too bad. Just a nice. Coming around the bend. Nah, I'm kidding. I won't sing for you guys. Anyways, uh, coming around the bend here. And uh, I think if I remember correctly from the last time I walked this, I'm very close to being back at the, uh, the parking lot. And the wind is kicking. So that's fun. All right, there it is. My watch says that I had my watch on for 26 minutes and it was 1.12 miles uh, from the sign that you can't see on the other side right there all the way back to this sign right here. So we're back and uh, I'm gonna throw up an antenna and see what we can. This is Kilo Hotel 7 Foxtrot Charlie. Kilo Hotel 7 Foxtrot Charlie. CQ CQ Parks on the Air Activation CQ CQ. This is Kilo Hotel 7 Foxtrot Charlie. CQ CQ. Uh, roger, roger. Kilo, India 7, Victor, Whiskey, Papa. Leonard over in uh, Arizona. You're sounding about a 5-4, five, 5-4 uh, five, four, five, four today. 
And this is Kilo, Hotel 7, Foxtrot Charlie 73s and QRZ. 52 Charlie Lima, Mexico. Uh, Alpha November Yankee again again. November five Alpha November Yankee. Over. Uh, Roger Roger. Thanks for the five nine into Oklahoma. You're probably about a five nine here on the eastern shore of Virginia into Kilo seventy seven ninety nine. I got it. Thank you seventy three. Thank you for the activation. Alrighty seventy three to you too. And this is Kilo Hotel Seven Fox Trot Charlie QRZ. Uh, Whiskey 9 Alpha Victor Mike. QSL, the name is Jim in uh, northwestern Wisconsin. Here you got a nice signal. Uh, thanks for that, Jim. Uh, this is Kilo Hotel 7, Fox Trot Charlie. I'm at Kilo 7799. You're sounding a little modulated, but you're probably about a 5959 here on the eastern shore of Virginia. Alrighty, sounds good. Uh, I'm also recording this and it'll probably be on YouTube in the next couple of days. If you uh, search my call sign, you can see exactly what I was talking about. Okay, thank you. Alrighty, thank you. And 73 is this Kilo Hotel 7, Fox Strike Charlie QRZ. Alpha, Delta Zero, uh, Alpha Delta Station, Alpha Delta, please. Alpha Delta Zero, Yankee November. Uh, Roger, Roger. Alpha Delta Zero, Yankee November. You're probably about a five, uh, five six, five six here on the eastern shore of Virginia. Roger, you're about five six here also in north central Missouri. Uh, I think I hear somebody way down in there. Go again, go again. I thought I heard you down there, Miss Judy. Uh, Alpha Alpha Five Uniform Zulu. You're probably about a, a four 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 here on the Eastern Shore today. All righty, seventy threes to you two, and uh, you you have a good one down there in the home state. <laughs> this is Kilo Hotel Seven Fox Trot Charlie QRZ. CQ, 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 this is Kilo Hotel 7, Fox Trot Charlie, Kilo Hotel 7, Fox Trot Charlie, CQ, CQ. Forgot to load my keyer today, so I'm having to say it all by myself. CQ, 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 parks on the air activation from Kilo Hotel 7, Fox Trot Charlie, Kilo Hotel 7, Fox Trot Charlie, CQ, CQ. Willie Baker 2, Tango, clean echo. Uh, Willie Baker 2, say again, again. Uh, Roger, Roger. Willie Baker, two Tango Quebec Echo. You're probably about a five seven five seven here on the Eastern Shore of Virginia. Uh, can I get your call, please? Yep, my call is Kilo Hotel Seven Foxtrot Charlie. Kilo Hotel Seven Foxtrot Charlie. It's the guy with the Hawaii call that lives in Virginia at Kilo Seven Seven Nine Nine. Uh, Roger, Roger. My name is Bo, or at least that's what I go by. It's Bravo Echo Alpha Uniform, and my QTH is three miles up the street at in Parksley, Virginia. Yeah, very good. Very good, Bo. Uh, they in uh, Virginia. Uh, yeah, okay. They ain't not too great, I don't think. Uh, they was way up and way down. So a lot of going on today for uh, whatever reason. But uh, nice to hear you up there in Virginia. For a second now, I thought maybe you were out in the Pacific somewhere, but you know, nowadays you can't tell. I mean, I'm a W-2, but I'm in Florida. I've been down here uh, how about 30 years now, and um, just uh, decided to keep the old call. And uh, yeah, I've had it for about 50 years, so I figured uh, I'd hold on to it. <laughs> Back to you there, uh, Bo. Uh, K7FC, WB2TQE. Roger, Roger. Yeah, uh, yeah. I lived in Hawaii whenever I got my ticket. I'm active duty Navy. I grew up in Louisiana, uh, and uh, I was stationed here in Virginia for a little while. Then I went to Hawaii, found out about ham radio, got my ticket out there. Actually, paid for my vanity call, and then like 
I think three weeks or so later, they got rid of uh, paying for it. So I figured, hey, I paid for it. I'll keep it. Uh, was stationed in California for a little bit. And now I'm out here on the Eastern Shore about to retire in about 16 months. Uh, back to you, sir. Hey, very good. Excellent. Excellent. All right. So you've been all over the world. Well, almost. <laughs> Hawaii is close to being on the other side of the planet. Uh, I think it's maybe it's halfway. I don't know. <laughs> But yeah, the band, uh, band is definitely up and down, and congrats on the being getting ready for retirement. Uh, I've, uh, I've been retired about 10 years now, and uh, just uh, enjoy playing the radio. And uh, that's what I've been doing uh, a lot of lately. 80 degrees sunshine down here near Fort Lauderdale. Just having a fun time on the radio. K7SCWB2TQA. Alrighty, yeah, uh, I'm hearing that QSB uh, uh, that you were talking about. I know it. I, you know, I, I, I haven't been licensed very long, but I understand what QSB is. Uh, I actually have an interesting fact for you. Uh, I'm recording this on my cell phone right at the moment, and uh, I have a YouTube channel. So if you want to search my call sign on YouTube, uh, I've already put a couple of Parks on the Air activations on there. I'll probably cut this uh, video up and put it up in the next couple of days if you want to hear what your uh, what your QSB is. But you were probably about 20 over, and then you faded down to probably about a 5.3, and then you went back up to probably about a 5.758. Yeah, Roger, Roger. Uh, I'm running a Yezu FT891, 100 watts to a mag mount on the roof of my Chevy Colorado. Uh, I switched it up a little bit today. Usually I run a ham stick, but right now I'm running a Wolf River Coil Mini, uh, Mini Mega Take It Along, which is the uh, smaller coil uh, with the 213 inch uh, whip extendable whip on it and it can tune uh, 20 and below just on the whip itself and then the coil itself can do uh, up to 80 or down to 80 however you want to look at it uh, so that's what I'm running right now Pal 7 Foxtrot Charlie any other stations out there wishing to make contact Kilo Echo Zero, zero. Echo India Echo uh, Kilo Echo Zero go again Uh, Roger, Roger, Kilo Echo Zero, Hotel Echo Whiskey, David over in Kansas City. You're probably about a 5757 five, today. Roger, the 57, you're about a 3434. Three, roger, Roger. Uh, roger, Roger, the 34, thanks for picking me out of the dirt. Uh, thanks for being out there, my friend. 73, uh, and good luck. Alrighty, 73, see you too. And this is Kilo, Hotel 7, Foxtrot, Charlie QRZ. Uh, again, again. Nancy Zero, America, India, Echo. Kilo, India 5, Mike, Charlie, Alpha. Uh, Kilo, India 5, Mike, Charlie, Alpha, QSL. I hear a November Ocean Station. Uh, again, again. Whiskey Papa 3, November Ocean, QSL. Uh, roger, roger. Thanks for the 5-7 into Puerto Rico. You're probably about a 4-4-4-4 here on the eastern shore of Virginia. All righty, 73 is to you too. Anybody else? Anybody else? All right, sorry about the camera. I had it on a mag mount and my phone was kind of making it do this thing. But anyways, uh, thanks everybody for all the calls. I got uh, 23 calls today. Got a couple of park to parks with a couple of different stations. Got my buddy Sean, uh, W4BKR, 
who uh, oddly, I can't ever get him whenever he's at parks closer to me here in Virginia, but I got him while he's in Kansas. So yeah, that's how the bands are, man. It happens. But uh, 23 contacts today, uh, got a little, little out there and did some stuff and uh, we got it done. So appreciate it. This is Kilo Hotel 7, Foxtrot Charlie, and I'll be QRT.